What's up, guys? I'm going to do a uh, reaction. I'm trying to do like a positive reaction to this guy saving. Uh, he's like a positive Christian rapper, dude. This is what real Christian rap sounds like. And this guy predicted all, everything that we're going through right now back in 2012. Kind of crazy. It's called uh, End of Days music video saving. S E D I N. I'm just doing it like this, like I said, because the world's supposed to end soon, and I don't want to go buy stuff and do it the right way, because I'm not going to do that if we're about to be gone. I'm just going to play some, and then talk some. Feeding the dog. Eating some gentle towels, bro. I didn't know how just long of an intro. I'm on some whole other man. Time to get active. That's me, no fear. to bring alarms, cause we the kind that'll tell Obama to bring it on, no my mama, it's more than just rhyming and singing songs, grab the llama before I give him the honor to see a song, I ain't seen by the lies, they fed all the public, exposing devil's hands, we cutting heads off of puppets, yes, we living in the police state, but we see it, that's why we the ones the police hate, see me through the night, panting with the lantern, running, believe it, believe us, them FEMA camps is coming, we can negate the world orders, a quarter of way for real though, what if they gave the order? To death, it take basic survival and faith. Look, how you gonna thrive off the land? You can't survive without Facebook. Open up your Bible, you're so blind. Time to reevaluate your mission. I know mine. Let's go. They wonder why. You hear that? This this was this video was made. This was published on December 21st, 2012. This guy basically wrote and predicted everything by the Spirit, man. We're led by the Spirit. This man wrote this and published this on December 1st, 2012. You can go look it up. It's the end of days music video by Saban. He's literally rapping about FEMA camps, everything we're going through right now. I mean, it's amazing. This guy is like for real. And then, uh, I mean, he's writing about everything we are currently going through, man. And it's, it's so true, dude. And I have no fear. I know my Christ is within me. I know why I'm here, my purpose. Let's go, let's go. The end of the world is near, and I see it so clear. Yeah. And I spit it so clearly, but perhaps they don't hear me. This global warming thing ain't a fact, it's a theory. But scientifically, the population is dumb. So they're able to regulate us and play with our funds. Soon you won't want to guess if your carbon cannot ride. You broke for paying taxes for carbon dioxide. What's it going to take for y'all to open up your eyes with concern? When they sticking you with needles, sterilizing your sperm. The power of the government is more than just a partial flaw. We just one bad day away from martial law. I see the beast in every part of this devices. I believe 9-11 was an artificial crisis. Same ones that marketed opium and heroin. Globalists controlling us. They are not American. They nope. betrayed the Constitution the Judas way. And yes, I love Christ more than the USA. You hear that? This man is literally saying everything we're going through right now. He's talking about 9-11 being an inside job and how they use that as an excuse to fear us into doing what they wanted then put a huge spell on the people then, use that as an excuse to convince Americans that it was okay for us to go and murder over a million Muslims. It, it, some of them were innocent. All of them were. They weren't over there for that. It's proof, dude. There's they, We have a video of people on the ground the day all that happened. There was no two planes. There wasn't even a plane in sight. Okay? There was 300 people down on ground level at that the time that supposedly happened. You gonna tell me not a single person got a single picture or video of all that happening? You way people are nowadays and even then in 2001? Yeah, somebody would have filmed something. I've seen a video of somebody on ground level literally running and screaming with you could hear the bombs going off and you you could hear people literally running and saying, Oh my god, there's bombs going off like 
Yeah, this guy nailed it. And he's sitting there talking about all the, the shots that they're going to force on you when uh, Goblin Gates sits there and tells you how it decreases population. It's going to genocide you, but you here, stick your arm out because we got to give you a shot that's going to kill you. Yeah, right, dude. <clears throat> and this guy literally is sitting there rapping about it all, dude. He wrote this, man. You know he did from the spirit. He's sitting there predicting everything that we're going through right now. Why don't this thing ever want to play, dude? No one's a wire. No he doesn't have any fear because he has Christ in him. Yeah. And that's why he's here. He has his purpose. Same as us. You hear that? That's what he's all this is true, man. He's sitting there saying how the pasture the pastures are really gonna have to mark and like like look now, man, you got pastures locking the doors. I'm sorry. Satan exposed his own people and God is reaching his hand down, waking people up, and Satan exposed all his own people. I hate to tell you, but if you lock your doors in your church, you're going along with the main mainstream narrative, pushing a scare, a, a, a afraid, a, a fear tactic of the military. You're literally pushing fear. You're locking your doors. You're going. To, you're doing exactly what Satan wants you to do. If you're locking your doors in your church, I'm sorry. You serve Satan and the cabal in the mainstream. You're deceived, and there's no possible way. You, if you really had a real relationship with Christ and you were real church people, real churches, and not houses of Satan, you wouldn't lock your doors. Do you honestly think Jesus, Yahushua, would lock if he had a synagogue, a church? Do you think Jesus would lock his doors during a plague? Jesus and the apostles walked the grounds of the earth amongst the sick people and amongst the plague and the the sick ridden people and the dying people. Jesus and his apostles walked amongst the sick and the dying and healed them, helped the ones that wanted help. Jesus wouldn't lock his church doors for a virus that you're that you have forgotten how to be a human being. You have you serve Satan serving serpents. You serve mainstream. If I had a church, you know what I would say? I will not lock my door for I'm trained to lay down my life as a disciple of Christ. I'm trained to lay down my life. I'm trained to lay down my life for the church, for all my brethren and sisters, for foes, for neighbors, for all of them. That's how it is. You wouldn't lock your doors because you're afraid, especially when known Satanists and, and uh, pedophiles and psychopaths, you can judge them by their, based on their evil fruits and what they do, people. They're evil Satanists. You think I'm going to sit there and let a Satanist tell me to lock my church doors and my people can't, my flock can't come to my congregation, can't come be safe? You're supposed to be a church. You're supposed to be there to like pray for people, heal people, lay hands on people, tell them do not be afraid, just like Christ did 365 times in the Bible. You ain't supposed to lock your doors. You're not supposed to sit there and ha tell them to come to church and stay in the car and listen to a service through the radio yet they're not six feet apart in the car you're telling them to stand six feet apart just like they they tell criminals and inmates in prison to stand six feet apart just like they tell people to do in jails just like they tell people to do in wars just like hitler did to the jews in uh the holocaust you don't get it people gets right down to Jesus, Yahushua, would not lock his church doors during a sickness or crisis, especially one that the human body creates to save your life and heal you. For you're uneducated and you're deceived by the rulers and Pharisees of this world. For you, are, you, you people need to go back to studying the Bible, apparently, because you don't, you don't lost your, your mind. You let the government tell you, lock your door because you're going to die from a virus. 
Well, I hate to tell you there, churches and everybody else that are deceived, I'm an educated man. I'm not afraid. You know why? Because since I was a little kid, I learned. I under I understand what it means to live in a body like this. My body has 380 trillion viruses stored inside of it, just like your body does. We have 380 trillion viruses in our body that was put there by the creator or whoever made us. If you're not a believer, whoever made your human body, you have 380 trillion viruses already stored inside your body. So when you go to bed and you wake up feeling sick, you, based on your environment and your toxins in your body, your body form, selects your body reads the infected cell toxins, and then your body will select one virus out of 380 trillion within your body to heal you, to naturally heal you. You become sick for three days to a week because of that. Happy birthday. Yeah, Mom, give that for you? Yeah, 50 bucks. All right. Thanks, sweetie. Yep. Yeah, you become sick for because of that. So you have to detox your system out on that. And so anyway, uh, I'm going to keep playing yeah. this. Listening to Bishop, homie, read for yourself. That one world government, one world here. currency one is world really government's just coming. They are building it currently. Asking for science and here. the power to learn. Can't be scared now. The Bible says the coward to burn. That's why I'd rather die than deny. At the yep. stake, getting fried for El Shaddai, screaming hallelujah. This, was, this song was made eight years ago. I have no Yep, you don't have fear when you know your purpose and you know where you're from and what you are. You don't fear a virus that your own body makes to heal you since the day I've been born. Like, I'm not ignorant. I understand a virus heals me and I can't die from a virus. My own body makes it heal me. Nor can I get a virus from my dog or my any animal unless it comes to a, a vaccine shot. That's the only way you get a virus through an animal injection. You can't get sick by standing next to a sick animal, people. Unless you get their blood, saliva, or mucus in your bloodstream. Ignorant. Let's hear this, man. Oh, yeah, that's the end of that. So, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. That's not it. I'll make that video. Yeah, that's, uh, I think that's the end of that song. Yeah, but that guy, that guy made that video eight years ago, and it literally just covered everything we went through, we're going through right now. This this guy, man, clearly he was led by the Spirit back then. He probably still is. He, I just seen he did a video with his wife and kids, teaching his kids how to read the Bible and doing right. Yeah. Like, I just about the end of that one. But that man, man, saving this man knows what's up, bro. He's he's on it. And, uh, yeah, he's on it. Good job, brother. It's amazing that you wrote that eight years ago in 2012. And everything you wrote back then is coming to fruition today. So now, we must stand now and rise. I, I'm, I'm going to do that, man. All props to Saving. That's his, this is his work. And uh, I'm just covering it just to get his uh, work out there and wake you up to that this man wrote this eight years ago and here we are today the government is not your friend wake up please spiritually wake up people you can do it i got faith in you brothers sisters to brandon joshua here in virginia i'm just messing around with this kind of thing like i said my government tells me that i'm about to be the whole world's ending so if that don't happen i'll get some legit setup stuff and i'll do this to where i can screen share and do it that way instead of like this cheesy way but I'm just kind of goofing off killing time and I don't I'm not so much worried about the picture of that because you gotta worry about copyright reasons and stuff anyway I'm just want to hear the words and then like commentate on that or just give my suggestions I'm not even going all in on it some of them I will some I won't anyways blessings